Aloha, beautiful souls. Welcome back to the Happiness Hub. I am so excited to celebrate this milestone with you. Episode number 40. Can you believe it? Thank you for joining me on this journey of growth, gratitude, and abundance. Whether you have been with me from day one or are tuning in for the first time, I am thrilled to have you here. Today's episode is all about something very close to my heart, the Act of Kindness Challenge. We're talking about making a daily difference, something simple, accessible, and deeply meaningful. Small, consistent acts of kindness can shift not only our own lives, but also the lives of everyone around us. I know that sounds a little idealistic, but stick with me here. I've got stories, tips, and some real talk on how this mindset can attract abundance in ways you might not expect. Now you might be thinking, but Marianne, I'm already kind, I smile, I help when I can, what more can I do? And that is wonderful, beautiful souls. But the point of this challenge is to amplify that kindness to make it intentional and to weave it into your daily life. We often underestimate the power of small gestures. How many opportunities do we miss every day to make someone smile or brighten their day? The truth is, opportunities of kindness are all around us. They are like golden nuggets hidden in plain sight, waiting to be discovered. What's amazing is how these small acts attract positive energy, not just for the person receiving them, but for you too. Every time we spread kindness, we invite more good things into our lives. It's that ripple effect. What we put out into the world always comes back to us. To illustrate how these small actions can snowball into something bigger, let me share the story of Keanu Reeves. Yes, we all know him as the star of The Matrix or John Wicks. But what many people don't know is that he is one of Hollywood's kindest, most generous souls. He's been known to donate millions to children's hospitals or other charities. But it's his everyday acts of kindness that are truly inspiring. For example, Keanu often gives up his seat on public transportation. Now imagine being a regular or non-famous person on the subway in New York City, and you're tired, stressed, trying to get home. Suddenly, a famous actor like Keanu Reeves gets up and offers you his seat with a smile. It is such a simple act, but it can totally shift your energy for the day. There are also stories of him buying lunch for movie set crews or going out of his way to make sure everyone is treated with respect and care. And he doesn't do it for attention. He does it because he's genuinely a kind person. Think about that for a moment. Keanu could be off living a life of luxury without a care in the world, but instead he chooses to make small, meaningful connections wherever he goes. That's the kind of mindset I want all of us to embrace. Now let's talk about the why behind this challenge. There's actual science backing the benefits of kindness. Studies show that the act of kindness releases oxytocin, often called the love hormone, which not only makes us feel good, but also reduces blood pressure and boosts our overall heart health. Kindness is a win-win. It makes both the giver and the receiver feel uplifted, and it can even attract more abundance into your life. 
And you know me, I'm all about the abundance mindset. The more kindness you give, the more you open yourself up to receive positivity, opportunity, and yes, even financial and time freedom. That's right, by creating a generous giving energy, you attract similar energy back into your world. So here's where we put this into action. I am inviting you to join me in the Acts of Kindness Challenge. It's super simple, but incredibly powerful. The idea is to consciously do one small act of kindness every day. Let me give you a few examples to get you started. Next time you're out and about, whether it's at a grocery store, a coffee shop, or even just walking down the street, pay a compliment to someone. When I say compliment someone, I do not mean their shoes or their outfit. I do mean someone. You can compliment their sense of style, their smile, or their energy. It's such a small gesture, but it can light up someone's whole day. You can also write a note. Yes, an actual, real note, not a text or email, to someone that you appreciate. You could leave it on a coworker's desk, tuck it into someone's bag, put it under a pillow, or mail it to a friend who lives far away. Let them know that you are grateful for them. Watch how this small act deepens your relationship. You've also probably heard of paying it forward for the person behind you in the coffee shop at the drive-thru. But you can also apply this in other ways. Maybe it's covering a co-worker's shift or offering to help a neighbor with their groceries. These small moments of thoughtfulness create a chain of positive energy. And we live in such a fast-paced world. Sometimes the greatest gift we can give is simply our presence. If you notice that someone is seem to be having a tough day, ask them how they're doing and really, really, really listen to the answer. This act of kindness doesn't cost you anything, but it can mean the world to someone who feels unseen. Now, one of my favorites is to also leave a note with a motivational message in a public place. It could be in a bathroom mirror, on a park bench, in a library book, something as simple as you are enough or you've got this could be just the uplifting message someone needed to see that day. These aren't difficult things to do, but they make a huge difference. The key is to be consistent and intentional. When you approach each day with the mindset of how can I make someone's day better, you not only change the lives of others, but you shift your own mindset to one of gratitude, abundance, and connection. Now, here's another example. The other day, my husband and I went for our walk, and yes, we stopped to get ice cream again at the ice cream truck at the downtown square. I know, we have tried all their flavors by now, but hey, where could you go on a date and only spend a buck fifty-nine for a waffle cone of ice cream these days? We love it. Anyways, as the cashier at the order window gave me our receipt, I handed her something and just said, this is for you, and I walked off. I walked to the pickup window. The exclamations that we heard had my husband ask, what did you do? The cashier was showing what I gave her to her coworkers in the truck and just out loud saying, this is the best thing that happened and it just made her whole day. As we got our ice cream cones, I, um, we walked off 
and we sat over by the, um, what's that called? The water fountain. We sat over by the water fountain and I pulled out of my pocket a small stack of cards that are just about half the size of a business card because you know what? The size isn't what matters, right? It's what's on the card that made the whole difference. On one side, it says, you are awesome. And on the other side, the message continues. It's when you flip it over, there's that continuation where it's an empowering and uplifting message. Very simple. The card is tiny, but the impact that it carries has a ripple effect that goes beyond what we can see. So here's where it gets really interesting. The small acts of kindness that we do don't just stop the person that you are being kind to. They often inspire others to pay it forward, creating a ripple effect that can go on and on. It's like tossing a pebble into a pond. Those ripples spread far beyond the initial impact. You never know how far your act of kindness travels. But trust me, it does travel. And guess what? When you operate with kindness, opportunities have a way of finding you. I've seen this in my own life, and I know you will too. The more kindness you put out, the more good things you will attract back into your own world. So beautiful souls, are you with me? Will you take on this challenge to spread kindness each and every day? I know you have it in you. Let's start this kindness ripple and watch how it grows, creating positive energy, stronger connections, and abundance in all areas of life. So before I let you go, please take a moment to subscribe to the Happiness Hub and share this episode with someone who could use a little inspiration and maybe even invite them to join our Act of Kindness Challenge. Imagine how much good we can create if we all participate. That's it for today, beautiful souls. Thank you for being part of this beautiful journey and for celebrating episode number 40 with me. Let's continue to attract abundance, spread positivity, and make the world a kinder, brighter place. Remember, small acts of kindness lead to big shifts. So until next time, a hui ho toodle bip. Aloha.